What's up everybody, it's your boy DK here, and today we're going to be doing another deck profile. This time we're going to be doing it on World Chalice, with a slight kick. Let me scoot you guys down just a little bit, if it wants to focus, but yeah, we're going to be working on the deck profile. I'm sorry about the lighting here. I got an idea. Let me try and turn this off, see if you guys can see a little better. And, sort of. No, not that good. Oh, I'm keeping the light on. Screw it. <coughs> Also, if you guys can't tell, I have a severe cough and cold. Okay. Camera just decides to say screw off. Okay, so we're going to be going over the World Chalice. What else did I add in there? I kind of forgot. <laughs> but um, it's mainly World Chalice, and it's also got some... Uh, what is it? Sky Striker or Brandish. So it's going to be Brandish World Chalice, which is... I could have run Artifacts, which I do have a side deck sitting somewhere over there with them. But yeah, hopefully you guys do like this. I'm going to be trying to do this. Not this coming Sunday, but the following Sunday, because nobody's really going to be there this coming Sunday, because there's a YCS down in Texas that everybody's going to be going to, so yeah, I won't be able to go on Sunday. Instead, I'll be going down to that tourney, so you guys will be able to check it out. Um, you'll see a bunch of things on YouTube based off of it, but yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you guys do enjoy this video on this deck profile, and without that being said and done, let's get continuing. Let's get going. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so it's mainly based off a of special summoning left and right, just getting your opponents out of hand, so then that way they can't tell what you're going to be doing next. So, the three you're running of is, let's see, there we go, three Lee, because Lee's effect is summon, effect, go search for a World Chalice card and add it to your hand. And if she's in the grave, you can discard a World Chalice from your hand to add her back to your hand, so it's kind of a recycle card. Two Guard Dragon, because if it's in the graveyard, you can banish it, especially... Normal monster, I think it is, from your graveyard to a zone that a link monster points to, so it slowly, you know, it slowly builds it up over time. Okay, two World Legacy World Chalice, because if it's destroyed, it can target up to two World Chalice monsters in your deck and special summon it. And that's the only effect I use with it, I don't use any other effects I could normally, I normally exceed it into like Vulcanosaurus, you know, stuff like that. Then, da -da, that is your little World Chalice built. Then the only um, Sky Striker stuff we're running is two Sky Striker Ace Ray, because when she's summoned, you can use her effect center as a grave special summon for a World Chalice. I mean, for a um, Sky Striker Link Monster, and yeah, it's just mainly those plays that you want to worry about. All right, so here's the little side, the side, the extra cards I put in here that nobody likes because it's fun. Um, we're running a three Ash Blossom because your opponent's going to be searching every single time, so you want to use Ash Blossom to keep them from searching, like with Diagram or anything like that. Uh, one Agent of Creation Venus, because her effect is she can summon up to three Shine Balls. And then they can go into, you know, they can go into like I'm Duck, stuff like that. Which is the reason why I like running it in this deck. It's, it's fun, just not as fun, because sometimes your opponent will negate Venus from going off and then, you know, you got a problem there. Spell cards. Uh, Double Widow Anchor. If there's more than three spells, you can activate spec, target a monster your opponent's side of the field and take control of it, so <laughs> it's basically like a um, brain control, but you don't pay life points, and it's um, decent because it because the first effect is it negates the face of monster effect, but if you have more than three spells in the grave, it gains control of the target, so it's kind of a based off of uh, brain control type. Um, let's see here. So we got um, two shark cannon, and the reason why I like running shark cannon so much is with its effect is you can activate it, target a monster in a graveyard, in your opponent's graveyard, banish it, but if you have three or more spell cards in your graveyard, you can special summon that from your opponent's graveyard to your side. So it's basically a monster reborn in a way. Um, world Legacy Succession, I run two of them because it's basically monster reborn for world legacies. You special summon a world legacy, a world chest monster from your graveyard to a link zone that a monster, that a link monster points to. Uh, double Hornet Drone, because you're going to be using this to kind of, you know, bring out a little drone, go into like a Link Spider or something, you know, slowly get your engine built up going. Uh, double Scapegoat, because it goes good with Link Spider, and then you can easily go into Bora Load or Firewall if you guys are into that. Also guys, Battle of Legend Relentless Revenge uh, came out a little while ago, so I'm going to hopefully be doing an opening of two boxes, maybe more. You know, once we get to 100 subs, you know, I'm going to definitely be doing a huge opening based off of it, just to show you guys the brand new support in there and we will be doing a video guys of the top 10 biggest cards and reprints in of course Battle of Legend Relentless Revenge so stay tuned for that it's going to be coming out uh, probably tomorrow I'm hoping it comes out tomorrow or Saturday but yeah 
Double Call by the Grave, really, really good card because you're using its effect. Let's say your opponent plays an Ash. If you're trying to search, you chain with Call of the Grave. So it banishes it, and then any other copy they have in their deck they cannot use for the remainder of the game. So <laughs> it kind of shuts down your opponent from basically, you know, stopping you from doing a whole lot of stuff. So it's a, it's a really fun card to play. Um, one Raigeki, this is a Legend of Blue Eyes one. I could have an Ultra Rare one, but I like the Super Rare because it looks really nice. Basically, field wipe your opponent's monsters. Dark Hole, field wipe both you and your opponent's monsters, if you want to be like that. That's your spell lineup, like I said, decent size for spells. And then for your traps, you're looking at Triple Solemn Strike, because Solemn Strike basically works as negating summons or negating effects from going off and paying 1500 which is good to stop your opponent from really bringing anything big or <coughs> any link monsters that can do really big damage uh, double drowning favorite card I like in a for traps I like because your opponent declares a direct attack you shuffle all attack position back into the deck so it's fun I could be running three but I like running two because I don't like seeing it over and over but the three cards I do run other than the Psalm strikes is the fiendish chain this works really, really well against those Trickstar Sky Striker people, or if you're that one guy who still plays Infernoid Layer, you can use that Fiendish Chain to kind of slow them down, keep them from, you know, doing anything stupid. And then the double of Floodgate Trap Hole, because I ran three Floodgate in my Blue Eyes deck, and the funniest thing that happened is that I was using it, and then um, I was going against Rocket Dragons, he special summons all five. Chain, floodgate, flip all of them face down. Everybody was everybody was watching the whole duel because it was the final. <coughs> <coughs> oh, that was nasty. But um, yeah, it was one of the best duels I had, and it was such. Oh my goodness, it was such bull crap because I was chaining, he was chaining, he was getting out of hand. All right, onto the extra deck. Uh, you're running double Ningirsu because. It uses its effect to target one card on your field and your opponent's field, and they go bye bye. And it's just mainly good for doing that. Um, one top of logic, because when it's summoned and then you special summon anything in its zone, it points to it destroys those mo those monsters and that monster in your zone and all the opponent's monsters in his monster zone. So it's kind of like you know you special summon anything in that area. It's basically an atomic bomb or a regeki for them. <coughs> all right, uh, one nightmare unicorn. Summoned, you can discard a card, target a card on a field, bounce it back, and then its effect is if it's still co-linked, which means during your upkeep or during your draw phase, if it's still draw upkeep, if it's still co-linked, you can draw an additional card, so draw power. Um, I don't have Nightmare Griffin at the moment. <coughs> 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 Holy crap. This is the worst cough I've had in a long time. But, yeah, I don't have Griffin. I'm probably going to be getting it within a few weeks, you know, so now I can test it out. And here's a card I do run, but my friend right now is going to be using it down at the YCS down in Texas. So if you're watching this, I'm going to kind of need that back by probably next Sunday. But um, Borolo Dragon. The reason why I like running Borolo is because Borolo is absolutely incredible. To where when he attacks monster, he uses effect to gain control of it. And that's where you Solemn Strike. Just get that thing out of there. Nobody wants it. Um, double Aram. Because if it's destroyed, it basically targets two in the graveyard and special summons them as in World Chalices. Uh, it's Link 2, and it's really easy to get out. Probably turn 1, turn 2 if you're lucky. There we go. Um, double Lime Duck, because easy to summon with the Mystical Shine Ball, basically with any normal monster. If it's destroyed, target a uh, World Chalice in your graveyard and special summon it. Ib, because if she's co-linked, she can't be destroyed by battle, I think. And is it? Yep, destroyed by battle or card effect, so that Raigeki won't really work on her. She'll be the only one sitting out there. <laughs> Alright, that does it for, you know, just the main little group of, excuse, yeah, main little group of, uh, sorry, Link. My mind is completely buzzed right now. Alright, you're also going to be running Double double Sky Striker Shizuku, because Shizuku's effect is, when it's summoned during your end phase, use its effect to search for a Sky Striker spell or trap, so you can basically look for Widow Anchor, Shark Cannon, Engage, basically search for that and start the whole combo off. But yeah, she's good during the end phase and then during the beginning phase. Here's another one you guys are going to run is double Kagiri because Kagiri is when she's Link summoned. She can target a world, what is it? She can target a Sky Striker spell trap, spell card in the graveyard and add it to your hand. So, you know, both of those work really well with searching and adding. And then the final card I run in the deck is uh, one number 61 because like I said, you have, you have these two right here, which you can easily get into Volcasaurus and then from there detach. Use its effect, target a monster your opponent controls, destroy it, and if you do, they take damage equal to its attack. So it can 
it's a burn card and it's absolutely fun to run. I I just built this and I haven't really tested it out much, but yeah, it's um I might test it out later on tonight. I don't know. Anyway guys, that was the deck profile that I was gonna that was the deck profile of of course my world legacy world chat uh, my sky striker world chalice deck profile. If you guys like that and you guys want to see more deck profiles, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, I know I haven't been recording as much. I've been extremely busy with work, trying to figure out where I'm going to move to. Oh, that's a secret I probably shouldn't have told you guys. Whoops! <laughs> so, funny thing, uh, me and my friend found a um, really nice apartment that's um, a few minutes away from my house. And so, we're going to go over there, check it out, um, see what it looks like. I mean, from the pictures I saw, it literally looks like a little hidden paradise. But, yeah, we're thinking of moving over there, so you guys are going to see a different atmosphere. It's going to be nice. Anyway, guys, hope you guys did enjoy that video. Make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more. And if you guys want to get your chance to win, win, of course, the March 2018 Regionals play mat from, of course, Team Draco Files, be sure to check that out. I will basically do a um, giveaway for that, kind of like, you know, a drawing giveaway. Since we're going to be getting close to hitting 100 subs, you know, I'm going to get that going, get one of these ordered, get it in, and then whoever's name is drawn, YouTube name is drawn, um, basically, um, I'm going to name that in the... Uh, upcoming videos, you know, whichever one comes, and then, um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll check you guys out in the next video.